Hi, this is Patrick for Motion VFX, and today I am happy to be showing off M Wedding for DaVinci Resolve. M Wedding is a pack of professional titles, transitions, LUTs, and effects that will help you create a unified, ambient, and romantic look for that special wedding moment captured on video. To find all of the included transitions, titles, and effects in the M Wedding pack, make sure your effect library is open. There you will be able to locate M Wedding presets inside the corresponding folders. I'll click on Titles, Motion VFX, then M Wedding. You can preview any of these titles or effects by scrubbing over the name and add it to Favorites by clicking the star to the immediate right of each preset name. If you want to see all of the M Wedding's transitions, titles, and effects in one place, come up to this magnifying glass icon and type in M Wedding. If you click back to Toolbox, then everything here on the right will be all your M Wedding presets. To view the LUTs available in M Wedding, head over to the color page and next to your gallery, select the LUTs viewer. Then you can scroll down to Motion VFX, M Wedding. And just like any of the effects, you can just mouse over these to preview them over your selected footage to find one you really love. Then you can right click, apply LUT to current node. Additionally, on any node in your node viewer, you can right click, go to LUT, down to Motion VFX, Wedding, and select the specific LUT you would like to use. I want to begin my composition with a nice clean title. So I'm going to come in here and grab title 06, drag that to my timeline, and I'm going to grab the end and pull that all the way back. So it just covers most of the first two clips that will help tie them together and give the user more time to read our title. Then I can grab this little handle at the end of our title, pull that back just a little bit. So that helps animate out our title before we get to the next shot. Then with that title selected, I can then open up the inspector. I have controls to toggle on or off the in and out animations, whether you want that to just pop up on screen or animate in smoothly. You might be asking if we have a checkbox for an animation out, why do we have this manual fade? And that is to work around one little quirk and resolve where because this title is less than the default length of five seconds, the out animation we have animated will not show properly. So we just add that manual fade out and it still looks great. And then we have further controls for the main content transform options, and then the title, subtitle, any other graphic elements in our scene. This title helps tie our first two clips together, but I want something to tie together this second into the third clip. And for that, we will add a transition. I have all my M wedding transitions here. And to demonstrate, I'm just gonna grab transition one and drag it between that second and third clip. That will give us this very quick wipe with their name. And then we have all those same custom controls in the inspector. But actually for this event here, I think I would like to go with transition four. Instead, that will give us a flash and a bit of a blur in between them. That looks great. But now that we have transitioned to this clip, I want to add some more elements on screen. I'm going to scroll up and grab lower third six. I'll reposition my timeline and I'm also going to grab add on nine. I will drop that at the same time on my timeline and I will trim both of those to hit the end of my clip. Now, if I mouse over those, the lower third will be down in the corner, but this add on icon will be smack right in the middle of my screen. So I can select that, make sure my inspector is open and in content controls, I can just slide this over and then up into the corner, maybe even pull down size a bit. And as always underneath your viewer, you can always come down to this drop down option and go to fusion overlay that will give you these tactile controls. So you can drag this element anywhere you want on screen, even adjust things like the size and rotation. But for now, I want it back up in that corner. I'll scale that down a little bit more and get a little more in the corner just as a nice accent piece. Yeah, that's great. And of course, selecting this lower third, I could then come in and then alter any of these options. Like if instead of Dan, this was Mark. Moving on, we cut away from this clip to another clip where we already have a title popping up on screen. But instead, what I'm going to do here is add an effect right onto the video clip behind that title. I'm going to scroll up my effects libraries to the effects section, and I'm going to add M Wedding Bokeh. I'll drag that onto my video clip. And you see now we have the shapes like from Bokeh uh, looking really great in our scene. And once again, if we select that clip, and in the inspector hop over to effects, we have a lot of custom controls, including the bokeh type. You have three different options here to experiment with, find a look that you really like. 
and we also have a general mask to keep this from getting too complicated in the center of our screen. If I toggle that off, you'll see now we will get those over the entire area of our frame. But if we toggle that back off, we will have a little window to see through. And of course, you can always adjust that depending on how much area you want to be clear of the effect. Now, while you are adjusting this bokeh mask, here's one quick tip. If you bring down the soft edge, all the way that will make it quite a bit easier to see the edge of this mask especially if you have some more extreme settings pulling that soft edge down gives you this nice hard outline and then you can really adjust that height and width to where you want it and then pull up the soft edge to blend that back flawlessly into your image. And while we are having some fun in the inspector, on all of these presets, if you scroll up, you will see this M Wedding by Motion VFX button. And if you press that, it will launch a browser window and take you right to motionvfx.com. To complete my sequence, I'm going to do several things on this last clip here. Right onto my footage, I'm going to add both M Wedding light effect and M wedding blurring. Now, initially this does come on very strong, but of course we can always hop into the inspector, hop over to uh, blurring to start and adjust any of these custom controls to dial this back a little. I'm gonna pull down strength just a little bit. And then I can also increase this soft edge and the mask diameter to just push that blurring a back a little further to the edges of our scene. You can always toggle that on and off to see the effect that it's having. And yeah, that just does cut a little bit of the detail around the edges, especially in this corner here, to draw attention to our couple. Any changes you would like to make to the light effect as well, you can always hop in and do that. Try one of these different lighting presets if you like one of those. But then once you have a look you like on the footage, we can add another title here. I'll scroll back down to Title 02 and drop that right over this clip. Make sure those edges are aligned. That title looks great animating in, and I'm going to hop into the inspector and just modify those controls. Again, you have all these custom controls here. I chose to brighten up this middle text so it's a little easier to read, but then you are left with this really beautiful and dynamic frame to end your sequence. M Wedding for DaVinci Resolve gives you all the tools you need to create a unified ambient and romantic tone for your event or wedding videos. For more information on M Wedding or any of our other packs, visit motionvfx.com. And to make sure you don't miss any future releases or tutorials on the channel, subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.